All right, number two. Roof truss of a residential structure shown. Truss is symmetric about the center line, CG. So this side, same as this side. And the angle is A, H, B, uh, H, G, C, and G, F, D are each 90 degrees. All right, so this is 90 degrees, this is 90 degrees, and this is 90 degrees. Good to know. Find angle A, B, H. So A, B, H. So I want this angle, theta, whatever that is. Let's see. So what, I, what do I do know? What, what do I do know? What I do know is this whole thing is 16 feet high. I have 8 feet between each section here. So this triangle, I don't know necessarily know how high this is. It looks about half that height, but I guess, again, I can't fully trust that. Um, it doesn't necessarily say it's to scale. So I can look at A, G, C, since I know that this is 16 feet and A, G is 16 feet. I have a triangle that is, let me scoot up here, I have a triangle that is 16 feet by 16 feet. And if I want to know this angle, let's say, because that's going to be angle C, A, G, because if I can find this, then I know this is 90, then I'll be able to find this. So let's try to find this angle, which is this angle down here, this is A, G, C. Um, now I know the opposite. I can I can calculate a hypotenuse. I don't necessarily need to, because uh, I know the tangent of let's call this angle phi. The tangent of phi is going to be um, opposite over adjacent, so 16 feet over 16 feet, or tangent of phi is equal to one. Now the only angle where the tangent is equal to one, and again you can put the, throw this in your calculator if you want to, of the inverse tangent of whatever that is is 45 degrees. So phi must be 45 degrees. And if this is 45 degrees, um, because of the property of a triangle, all of these angles need to add up to 180. So uh, if I want to show that mathematically, angle BAH plus angle AHB plus angle um, H a, B, H has to be equal to 180. So if that's equal to 180, excuse me, I'm going to move this guy. So if that's equal to 180, we just said B, A, H is 45 degrees, A, H, B is 90 degrees, we're looking for A, B, H, that's equal to 180. Angle ABH has to be 180 minus 90 minus 45, which is 45 degrees. So that's part A. So now we know this angle is 45 degrees. And because it's symmetric, we also know this angle is 45 degrees. And basically, that one, and that one, and that one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Almost everything in here is. Great, so part B. How many linear feet of lumber is required to fabricate this truss? So, I need to add up the lengths of each piece here. Uh, I have 8 feet, I have 8, 8, 8, 8 feet across the bottom, so uh, let's see, segment A, E is going to be equal to um, 8 basically times 4, or 32 feet, so I have that. Uh, C, G, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cross these off as I uh, have I've counted them. I've counted these. All right now, CG. That's we already already been told that that's 16 feet. So 16 feet. Cross that off. That's segment CG. Um, segment BH. This is 45 degrees, and this is 45 degrees, and this is 8 and 8. Again, the tangent of 45 degrees is 1, which means the opposite over adjacent is 1. So if this is 8 feet, this has to be 8 feet. So uh, segment BH is 8 feet from here to here, which means it's symmetric. This is also 8 feet from here to here, df. So df equals 8, eight feet. I'll cross that off. And bh is equal to 8 feet. And I'm going off the page here. Scoot up a little bit. Here I'm keeping track of everything I've calculated. So gotten these two, 
that's left, 8 feet, 8 feet. So now I need these components right here. Now for this long wall, I can do this in one fell swoop because it's a 16 foot by 16 foot triangle. I'm dealing with this triangle right here. So uh, C squared is, well, A squared plus B squared. And in this case, it's segment AG squared plus segment CG squared. The square root of all of that is my segment AC. I'm writing off the edge of the screen. Just bear with me as I do this. Uh, 16 squared plus 16 squared. The square root of all of that. I grab my calculator. All right, 16 times 16 is 256. 256 is 512. The square root of 512 is going to be about. So AC is approximately 22.6 feet. Um, I'm going to put that there, that needs to be there. So 22.6 feet is AC. Now that is symmetric, so that's also going to be um, AC is 22.6 feet, which means CE. CE is going to be 22.6 feet um, because this side is symmetric to this side. So I've done this, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this. I have BG and DG left, um, which is basically 8 feet by 8 feet, 8 foot by 8 foot triangle, find the hypotenuse again, so that's the, I'll write this over here, 8 squared plus 8 squared, the square root of that is going to be equal to segment BG, BG is equal to 16, no, sorry, 64, plus 64, 128, square root of 128 is 11.3, exactly half of what this whole segment was, which kind of makes sense when you look at it, but just wanted to be sure. That's 11.3 feet. So, okay, now it's BG and DG. Go down here, BG is 11.3 feet, DG is 11.3 feet, now I add all of these up. 11.3 plus 11.3 plus 22.6 plus 22.6 plus 8 plus 8 plus CG, which is 16, plus AE, which all the way across the bottom is 32, equals grand total of 131. 0.8 linear feet of lumber for the entire truss.